Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Left you guys off with a bit of a cliffhanger. Who's ready for a boss fight? I know I am. And I switched up the team a little bit, just because I thought that the team that I had going into this, the bit of the B team, probably wouldn't be the best for a boss fight. So let's go ahead and use our special key in this nice tight door. And get this plot going. No fade out of music, nothing sinister, nothing interesting, just a, uh, a middle-aged man. Name the boss. Okay. I make that face sometimes whenever I'm just like, mm -hmm, you know, that's how I feel. That's right, we are a mere child going into a headquarters of a terrorist organization and expecting to infiltrate and fight the boss? That's totally normal. We can sense him. I'm if he can smell us. I would like to say, let's go ahead and let this uh, circle pan move all the way around. That's a good way to avoid the 180 degree rule. Bim school! Oh, he's finished with them. That's not nice. You could care less. No, it's you couldn't care less. Jeez. Learn some English, boss. Ooh, we're a spa- Okay, this is getting weird. Rescue them out of pity? No, we were told to! We're just following the rules! Okay. So this guy is apparently a robot? With our vacuous sentimentality. Okay. Let's just get this going. Here's your first encounter with Galactic Boss Cyrus and his amazing theme. Enjoy this. It's one of the few times you get to hear it, and this song is amazing. This is not a good matchup. Um, as you can see, I did bring Buster, Charlie, and Bart. I figured that having the trio of Starter type Pokemon would be better off in this fight. It would give me a, more to play with than what I was using before, although Craig would have been an excellent choice here. Also, keep that uh keep that sweet galaxy effect in the background. That's cool looking, right? I'm gonna shoot an ice beam out of her butthole. Yes, very effective. Butthole ice beams are always super effective. Also, I wanted to keep the youngins on the team to get them more experience as we're moving forward. All right, I don't know if Suzanne's gonna be able to hang a hit, but she is very fast. And we now know a different ice move. Now we have Avalanche, which we got from uh, Candace. Man, I cannot remember names. I'm really bad about that in general. I don't know if it's because like my brain is stupid, probably, but I'll go to events, a networking event, something for work. And uh, also, what a horrible animation. That's the best they could do for Avalanche. That looked really, really bad. It was all kind of like 2D and like wrongly formatted. But anyway, I go to like events and someone will be like, oh, hey, this is so-and-so or they'll introduce themselves personally. Like I'm blah, blah, blah. And if they don't have a name tag, that name is in and out of my brain immediately. I got nothing. I'm just like, all right, great. I guess I'm never going to remember your name ever again. All right, so here's their own Sneasel. Sneasel is Dark Ice, which I feel is very weak to fighting. So maybe Raymond can get in there and outspeed it and give it a nice force palm. We'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is not going to go well for me. Oh, it's his last Pokemon? I thought he... Ooh. I guess I overprepared. Ooh, it's a really fast Sneasel. Oh, boy. No, we're definitely getting... We're getting dunked on here. Here we go. Yep. Okay, maybe not. Let's see how good this Force Palm does. Oh, man. Oh, it's got a berry. What a chump. I should have put a berry on, on uh, Raymond. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I may lose if this pace continues, he says. All right, you know what? Raymond is definitely gonna be 
gonna be out of sorts if we don't get him out of there. So you know what? It's a bit of overkill, but you know. Get in there, Charlie. Finish this Sneasel off. Uh, time for this. Huh. What did that say? Charlie avoided the move via what? It's a via, it, via its snout. I'm like, does he have a snout? He's a monkey. I don't know if monkeys have snouts. Just called their mouth. But yeah, I'm really bad with names. It takes me like four times in a sentence before I even before I even got it. That was a critical? Like, it didn't even matter. Alright, alright. Enough with the pomp and circumstance. We just dunked on this guy. Also, what a horrible team. Yikes. Not good. But a good level up for Raymond? The music was great. That's probably the best part of this fight. Ooh, he's curious. Why curious? Alright. We got a lot of money, too. Thanks. So he's gonna dunk on us for being emotional. I'm just a little emotional right now. Okay, so he is clearly a sociopath. Guess he kinda gotta be to be a cult slash terrorist leader. And the, re the, re bleh 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 the reward is the Master Ball. So he has Master Balls. It's not anything he requires. You don't make Pokemon his friend. I mean, you still have to catch him. Okay, what does that even mean? He makes the power of Pokemon his own? Whatever. So he's going to Mount Cornet. That's a good place to go. Okay, so... That's exciting. All this cool space and stuff around, and there's not really anything to do with it. You just do this fight, and it's just kind of like, Alright, bye! I'm gonna go to this place, follow me, bye! Ooh, this is spoopy, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. <gasps> this experiment has gone too far. What are these? Looks like Gushers. Team Galactic is stealing Gushers? I knew it. I figure these are probably attempts to make clones. Ooh, it's a lady scientist, nerd. The thing we made, what did you make? What's happening? <gasps> Guys, it's the mystical beings, and it's Saturn. Can we save them? Oh no, it's suffering. With eyes squeezed shut, racking shutters. Oh, how sad. Put them inside these gigantic Twinkies. Okay, well, I've got something to say. Oop, let's try that again. Well, I've got something to, let's try that one more time. I've got something to say to you, Mr. Saturn. Huh, sounds like the uh, call to action was not very clear among the subordinates. Back-to-back -back boss fights? Oh yeah. Hopefully this is a little bit more exciting than the last one. I don't know if the teams for these guys change over time. Like I'm assuming the Pokemon probably get stronger and whatnot, but beyond that, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But it is interesting at the very least. We can bite this Kadabra. Also, I think this Kadabra, like level-wise, Cyrus, his Pokemon were a little bit in the high 30s, early 40s, and I think Saturn's might just be the high 30s. Oh, get out of here. That was an amazing bite. The big old chomp. Also, why does Kadabra know... Why does Kadabra know Rain Dance? Are you trying to set up for something? If Saturn doesn't have at least one water Pokemon, I'm going to be livid. It would make literally no sense otherwise. Yeah, and a Bronzor? Okay. Um, blah, blah. You know what? No, see, that's not... You know what? Let's get Bard in there. We do know Shadow Ball. That'll be a good move. It's a Psychic type, and I know that... I don't believe it's special defense being anything to write home about. 
given my knowledge of Brandy being uh, awful. And Bart is expecting a great strategy. A great strategy. You got it, Bart. It's just about the same size as... Oh, man. What is up with the defense of everything here? Get out. Oh, no. No. What have you done? This is the worst thing ever. All right. Do we have any dark moves? We do. No, we don't have any dark moves. Um, let's get Buster in there. I don't want to deal with Confuse Ray. Thankfully, Confusion does wear off when you swap out your Pokemon. Hopefully we're fast enough to outspeed another one. Extra Sensory. Okay. That's a decent Psychic move. Buster is surprisingly thick, and I like that. But this Bronzor is not going to be thick enough to avoid a big old crown. That feels pretty good. Ugh, almost to level up. Yeah, Bronzor doesn't really give you a whole lot. Then we got Toxicroak, which Grayson would be better against. I just need to have an, a, a chance to heal up. Because that Kadabra did a number on us. I think if I can spend a turn having Grayson drink some, some Malk, then we'll be okay. We're actually running out of Malk. Let me get more. Okay. Would have been cool if I could have at least animated that a little bit, but no. That's not how you cut corners. Ooh boy. I don't think we're going to be fast enough to outspeed it, so that would be a waste of a turn. It's a very quick Toxicroak. I don't know if, it, if they knew that I had a fire type and they're trying to neutralize that or not, but... Huh. Yeah, this Toxicroak is very fast. So that would not have, that would not have uh, worked out well for me. Yeah, this is kind of a butt. Um, let's use Nasty Plot and raise our stats. Let's get nasty. We're gonna get so nasty. Okay. Oh boy. The rain stopped. Unfortunately, fire is not a very good. No, wait, it is. It's effective. Never mind. I can't read. So this is a special, special type attack, and it's just enough. Woo! Take that. Toxicroak is pretty darn cool. All right, so we got a couple of quick level ups for our team. We like it. Man, Suzanne is fast. My goodness, and that attacks that is wonderful. Like your wispy bangs. It's a very strange haircut. I'm not entirely sure how that even works, to be honest. Interesting. We're gonna let him free! Get out of the way. Fingers on the buttons, everybody. One, two, three! We did it! Great. What a cool animation. Crafted a red chain. Got some bling. Shackle some- uh-oh. Something on Mount Cornet's gonna get messy. Okay. Is there a way to get out of here that's easy? Cause, uh, I didn't see if there was a teleporter in that room. There's this one. How do I get out of the Team Galactic Headquarters? Okay. Just kidding. There was a flag there preventing you from being able to do anything, but now we're free to just walk out again. Wow. Talk about a climax. Well, we did it. The game is over. Just kidding. All right. So it appears that we need to head to Mount Coronet. That's exciting. Getting near the final third of the game. There's also things that you can do to pad the game out if you want to. But we're trying to do things OG. There actually is a decent amount of post-game content, some of which I will be doing and some of which I won't, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. Let's see what the old X button says for us to do. Stop Team Galactic at Mount Cornet Summit. So it wants us to go to Mount Cornet. I'm assuming we should probably... Oh, the Spear Pillar. Interesting. I think the easiest way to get in... 
You go any multitude of ways, which I think, what is this? Is this the Iron Island? Yes, I got excited. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So we can go to Hearth Home. Ooh, I didn't know you could fly from the map. Oh, that's so useful. And I only figured it out 32 episodes into this game. Okay. Guys, we're doing great. And I think we could probably switch up the team again. Why not? Actually, I don't know if I really want to do that. I lied. Yeah, everything seems to be kind of around the same-ish level. Maybe get Charlie out of there. Who would I replace Charlie with? Everybody is really high level at this point, so there's not really a good... a good easy swap that I... you know, Scarlet, whatever. There's not really a ton of stuff that's weak to poison, unfortunately. So some stronger dark moves would be nice. Now where am I supposed to be going? Hold on. I'm not even paying any attention. Being a gosh dang fool. All right, here we go. Ooh, I wanted to get, wait. I wanted to get more milk. Where do I get milk at? Cafe, whatever. Where is it? No. It's out here. It was on the way to Celestic Town, I think. Cafe cabin. All right, let's go. Let's go get some milk first. A little detour. Who doesn't want a nice warm glass of milk? We need it. We're going to be going exploring a cave. We walk up from Salakian Town. This is just a little quick, uh, quick detour. Don't mind me. All right. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Still probably the best healing item. Okay. All we have is Moo Moo Milk. You sure do. Thanks. Okay. How about more of that? Let's go ahead and get 30. That might honestly tide us for the rest of the game, to be honest. Although, whenever I get to the Elite Four, which is coming. Spoilers! I usually wind up just dumping all my money into it. Also, for some reason, I thought... I thought Cafe Cabin had more people in it. Like, I thought this was a bigger space. And I must be thinking of that, um... I must be thinking of that area that was by... Actually, let's go, let's go north from Warburg. I'm being indecisive today. What else is new? Nothing. Here at DMIC Industries, we like to pride ourselves on keeping things interesting. Okay. Whenever I hear this song, it makes me think of that glitch that you can do. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but it's a, uh, well, you know what? We'll talk about that when the time comes. It's a glitch that I don't, I don't believe is even possible to be done anymore, but you used to be able to do it. It's something that I'll showcase, or like I'll explain. Can I get up there? It's something that I'll explain later. Have I not done anything over here? I feel like I haven't fought. Oh man, I have not gone this way. Knowing my luck, these are going to be like level 5 trainers. Oh boy, here we go. These are going to be some rough battles, everybody. He's got his Darley! Watch yourselves! I think that I was supposed to come here after I got the bike. Yeah, oops. Well, you know what? So much for that. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes me wonder uh, if collectively between these like three or four trainers that I'm about to fight, if maybe it'll be enough experience for what? No. No, no. Oh, he's got a Chimchar. Look at that. Monkey buddies. All right. Well, this is good experience. 15 episodes ago. So there's that. Just gonna power through here with these moves. Yeah, man, this is this is rough. This is not uh not ideal. But this is what I get for forgetting. There's probably other trainers in here that I haven't fought. I really hope that uh I don't have to go back and find them to complete the Pokedex. Because I feel like I'm doing... What did he say? I'm not even reading stuff. I'm so jaded at this point. How many Pokemon do I have left to see? That is 33 Pokemon left. Okay. 
It's a good thing we're going this way so we can fight fat hikers outdoors. Yes. I think, ooh, Kevin, Kevine? I think he said something about good fortune, but I thought that said good Fortnite. Laughing outdoors brings good Fortnite. I don't know if those words have ever been said together in a sentence, but I have now brought them into the lexicon of the world. You are welcome. We are doing great. Oh, no. Uh. Yeah, I don't know when the game intends for you to do this, but I clearly dropped the ball a little bit. You know, we're supposed to be approaching the climax of the game, and here I am fight fighting level 15 Geo dudes at the base of this huge mountain. We're doing great. It's kind of a uh, it's a bit of a a bit of a pivot in the pace. We're ruining the flow of the game. Oh my gosh. Why do you, why? Why do you exist? It's one of those things that I wish there was a way for a Pokemon game in the future to like scale. Like if you don't necessarily beat the trainers in an area, I wish that they would have some sort of like AI programming that it would scale with whatever your team is, no matter where you are. I think that'd be nice. But I guess it would be kind of tough to do because your team will, you know, obviously change. I'm feeling feeling pretty dire right now. Is there anything back here? Yes, I'm amazing. Let's give that rare candy to Raymond. I think he's the one that's behind. Uh, nope, that's healing stuff. Nothing is in order. Grayson could actually use it more, but I'm giving it to Raymond. Because Raymond has not evolved at all yet and is a bit of a punching bag, so... I think I saw one more lady. Happy Women's Day. I don't remember when that was, maybe yesterday, but happy Women's Day to all you ladies out there. Doing great things with both your X chromosomes. Good for you. For starters, but hey, there are more than one way to be a lady and we love them all. We are more than just our makeup. Not literally, that was not meant to be a pun. But yes, women are more than just their makeup. Okay, so let's just wrap this up very quickly. Hopefully, get into that mountain and start taking on some baddies. I don't know if the climax of the game We'll be, uh, we'll, we'll have enough time in this episode. We'll find out. I also don't know how to get up to that. That's okay. Let's go ahead and, ooh, did I, I don't know if I'll have enough super repels. We're about to find out. I also don't know what's the best way to go. So we will also find out about, eh, I got 26. Thankfully, no random NPC is going to be asking me about if I want to use my super repels. All right. So I think the way to go there's going to be an area, yes, with rock climb. So that's what you need. You can only get to the upper part of Cornet when you have surf and rock climb. So keep that in mind. Boop, 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 boop. Come over here, get this amazing bottle of protein. There's plenty of ways to get protein into your body. All right. Like a bottle of pure protein would just be kind of insane. Is that like a protein shake? Maybe. Muscle milk or something like that. Is there anything here? No? Great. So yeah. We gotta climb some rocks. And this is how we advance to the next section of Mount Coronet. I feel like there's still a victory road, so... Wait, what? A bronze ore? I used a super repel. This is gonna be like a level 50 bronze ore and just nuke my team. 36? I mean, okay, that's fair. I don't actually want to continue to fight things. So I will swap out for uh, Raymond, I guess. 
We'll see if there's anything that's level 39 and higher as we walk around. Always check rocks for random goodies. That's always a good rule of thumb when you're exploring a cave. Yes. I would love to get more. And there's an escape rope. I don't know. I feel like the area that we'll wind up will be outside because we were trying to summit this mountain. So we should be okay. Ooh, there's an exit right there. But there's an item and I want it. Okay. I'm saying okay a lot because I'm trying to remind you that's my state of being. And it said that Mount Cornet was a bit of a maze. This doesn't feel very mazy to me. When I think of mazes, I think, ooh, oh my goodness, Rock Slide, yes, what a great move. We're checking out Rock Slide immediately. I don't know if I'm gonna, probably won't put it on anybody in the, in the moment, but uh, yes, newest, give me that. As I'm in the middle of the, of the thing, great, Rock Slide. Large boulders are hurled at the opposing Pokemon to inflict damage. This may also, this also may make the opposing Pokemon flinch. So, Rock Slide, if your Pokemon can't naturally learn it, there it is. It's an amazing TM. Took the wrong stairs. I thought about it too, I was like, you know what? That bridge is mighty tempting, but it's not the way to go. Okay. I don't really, oh, well, there's that. Ah, isn't today great, everybody? Isn't today just a wonderful day, you know? I basically just burnt through an entire super repel by missing that, uh, that little jump. Okay, so we're gonna be very careful. Very, very careful. Okay. I don't know what's back here. It's very ominous. Ooh. I feel like there's probably items. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Um, isn't that half the fun of playing a Pokemon game? I thought this was actually gonna lead to a new area, but it's just some rocks and a max revive, great. What an amazing find. Ooh, a galactic grunt, so we are going the right way. Okay. Wow. Big words. From somebody doing a sorority squat, that's what that basically looks like. Oh, I wish they could mix it up. The beautiflies of the world just don't phase me anymore. This is a bad matchup. I don't have anything that is very effective against this Beautifly. But Suzanne does. I don't know. I'm trying to just dig back into the memory banks of my brain. Actually, no, I don't think that Suzanne has anything good. Holy smokes, I have never seen a Leech Life do that. Oh, that's right. This is actually something that I learned recently. Um, so Leech Life, historically, was a nothing burger of a move. It was like 20 attack power, whatever, you could do chip damage. Now Leech Life? Leech Life is a 70 power move. It's super strong, and I had no idea that that was a thing. I don't remember what I was playing, but it was something recently where I got just absolutely nuked, and I'm like, what is happening? Leech Life is a pathetic move. Mm -mm. Leech Life got some girth now. It's not messing around. And it sucks. So, you better watch yourself. Okay. That's a decent amount of experience. Glad I bought that milk. I don't accept this. All right, so, let's actually use said milk to heal up a battle that I was not expecting to be quite so dangerous, my goodness. Okay, we're fine. Guys, we're fine, it's okay. We're doing great. More battles, please. Oh, I snuck right past you, did you see that? Did you see me sneak right past him? Got him. Thankfully, they only have one Pokemon at a time, which is nice. I don't think I could handle a team full of Bronzors or, you know, the Silcoon, whatever. So, oh, I wanted to be petted. Did you guys see that? It's adorable. Okay, actually, you know what? Grayson could use the experience. Let's go ahead and get the youngsters swapping out. 
meant to say swip swapping, but I kind of got stuck on like my my lip, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. that'll happen sometimes. I wish steel types were better, or at least had like better moves. Like I wish, I wish I could have a Skarmory. I don't even know if Skarmory's in this game, but Skarmory is awesome. I mean, I'm sure there's probably data for it. You can, I'm assuming, trade to. Or there's got to be a way to trade all your um, all your mons from your different games using some sort of a transfer portal or something like that. Man, so much defense. I feel like I would have been better off using Bulldoze because I keep forgetting that Bronzor doesn't have Levitate anymore. What a pain in the buns. Oh, don't do this. No! Extreme dislike. There we go, Grayson. Finish him off, please. Ooh, I feel like watching that HP bar go down so slowly had me a little concerned. That's a level up. That was a good move on my part. Congratulations, me. And Grayson still looming with that final evolution. It's unfortunate. That evolution does not come for quite a while. But being a pseudo-legendary, that's what you get. Also, this music, kind of like Animal Crossing. Also, if you don't like Animal Crossing, you can get out. Whoa. A gold bat? Must be a pretty high level one at the, the tip of this mountain. Oh boy. This could be bad. Uh, can we run, please? No, no, no! This is the exact opposite I've wanted. What? No, stop. Oh, we're gonna get killed by hail. Ah, oh, What a pain in the buns. All because of a stupid goal bat. Wow. No! <sighs> I'm about to waste a revive for that. A revive and a mulk. Ugh. This game is a jerk sometimes. Oh wait, I need to heal uh, Grayson as well. It's a bit of overkill, but whatever, I got plenty of milk. I got plenty of milk, plenty of cash monies. All right, I don't know why I'm being so cautious. I don't know if there's any items over here or what. Nope, I just walked around here for nothing. Could have just taken the top route, but no. Also, let's address the HM slave thing. Like I get it what they're going for with, like, Beeberl being used on everything, but, like, come on. Am I supposed to push this this way, or is I supposed to push it the other way? I don't know. But they could have used something different for every HM. That would have been more fun, right? This has got to be something. It's behind a rock smash. See? Beedu, Beeberl. They handle basically almost every one of the TMs. Not TMs, HMs. Why did I say TM? All right. Well, apparently the super repel didn't work. Let's swap out to somebody higher level like Bert. Okay. I don't want to run into any stupid wild Pokemon. Yeah, there's so many different caves. What does anything lead to? What is love? Does this get me higher? Does your love take me higher? I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. All right. We're just gonna do- Oh no, the rock got pushed back. What am I gonna do? We did technically enter and exit the area, so the game is not going to remember what we've done. There is another entrance in here. I feel like some of this has got to lead to something important, right? Is that just the other side of this cave? What is this? Ultra Ball? Whoa! We are playing at nighttime, though, for a reason. I don't feel like Waterfall was one of the things we needed. Uh, where does this go? Well, that's it. Oh, we don't have we don't have Waterfall yet. I mean, we technically did because Buster was able to learn it, but we weren't able to see. I'm I'm nervous about where I'm going because I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. Yes. 
This looks safe. What is this? This is just like item collection marathon. Has anybody ever been rock climbing? It's really fun. I would recommend it as an activity. It's a good hobby. It's pretty tough though. You gotta be committed to it. Not be afraid to scale some heights. You get to wear cool shoes and put chalk on your hands. That's fun, right? Yeah, so we can't take the right path. It's the only way to go. We're getting close to the top of the mountain, guys. Ooh, another galactic grunt. I was afraid that this episode wasn't gonna have enough in it, but I'm actually kind of glad that I started with those fights. I know these episodes do kind of wear on a little bit. I don't have a choice. I'm just trying to show everything. Well, sh show a lot of most things. We'll say that. I still think it's great that Bart still has Flash from the Wayward Cave. I was going to say way word back, but it's not the best pun I could have made. I think this isn't going to do much. Nope. Because Bart is amazing with his cape and Beautiful flower hands. Beautiful. That's all you can say is beautiful. Not even a beautiful fly. Actually, that's not true. I feel like beautiful fly would actually be a pretty bad opponent for Bart. Being part flying type. But there's two more levels for the OGs. Another dust stocks. What do we got? Um. Hmm. Get Suzanne there. Although I feel like Dustox is bug poison, maybe? Not, uh. I don't know if we're gonna be. Yeah, see, I keep forgetting that it's not. It's not what I thought. Also, this is probably gonna hurt. So we're part dark type. Ugh. Yeah, I keep thinking that it's weak to ice and it's not. Oh, well. Apparently, Suzanne is OP. She's not an OG, but she is OP. We like that, it's a lot of experience. We win a Golbit. And uh, who's gonna take down the Golbit? Let's get, uh, no. You know what, it's not a good matchup, but Scarlet could use some level ups while we're playing around. I remember back in the day playing Pokemon on my old channel. I named them after other YouTubers. That was back when stuff existed and life was fun. Okay. Ah, uh, why can't you just... Why can't you just let me, let me have this? Ugh. Can I just finish this fight, please, with my terrifying four-legged, six-legged scorpion? Whatever you are. I guess you got like four legs and two arms. Whatever those are. Appendages. Let's not get too picky about it. All right. Another level up for Suzanne. She's doing great. Yeah, that's right. We're replenishing all of our Poké Dollars that we spent on milk. So that's, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> it's like a gauntlet of garbage. Ugh. I mean, this is supposed to obviously clue you in that stuff's getting real, but, you know, usually when stuff gets real, you're not fighting stunkies and dust stocks. There's nothing terribly exciting about this. I mean, I'm making it exciting because I am so fun and cool and funky fresh. But beyond that, the game is not helping me out. It's not exactly being the harbinger of radical fun stuff. But I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best for you guys. I really hope that Grayson at some point will learn Earthquake. I don't know if that's a natural move of the of the Gibble line, but I would love it too. It's a great move, especially because I said so. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. This isn't really a horrible matchup. Grayson's basically caught up at this point, so I think we're okay. A couple of strong dragon breaths. Ooh, it went through its mouth. That was fun. This could be bad though. Lowering my defense a lot. I don't love that. Having Craig here would be useful, but we don't have Craig. Let's get Buster in there. J 
just for safety. Nuke him with an Ice Beam from the butthole. Buster's got a very chilly behind. Yeah, I don't know if that would have done enough. It might have, and I just... I didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. There it is. The butthole beam! Gone, done. Yeah. Yes, and Raymond is finally level 40. Good things for him. Ooh, Swords Dance. Wait, what do we have? We have Nasty Plot, which raises special attack. This raises regular attack. Uh, I mean, regular... It seems like we're doing better in, in our regular attack currently. And this, this raises special and... Oh. Well, then what's the point of... We have both! It raises attack and special attack. This raises... Sharply ra Okay, so this is like one stage and this is two stages. Nah, I mean... I guess we want to get rid of Nasty Plot in favor of Sword Dance just because our regular attack stat is better. Regular? Okay, so what a great move to learn at level 40, a milestone! Does level 40 bring us anything else? No! Why would it? And another... <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, game? With all these escape ropes. Am I getting into danger? Ooh, and you just have to... I'm gonna sneak right past you up here. Okay. So this is like, like we're really getting into it now. This is like the... The spooky, spooky tippy top. Are there any items back here? Yeah. Yes, I would love to. Thank you. Another rare candy! That's going to Raymond right now. You can't guess already, I'm trying to get Raymond to evolve. That would be amazing. Could actually take a hit or two. Woo, saving some time. Nope, I have no idea what level a Riolu evolves. Okay. We're gonna check out this area really quick. I believe we're getting close to the the finale here of this area. Is this an item? The tiny mushroom. Ha! Ah, wouldn't want to be caught with a tiny mushroom. And down here. <gasps> no item in the rock? What? What kind of universe is this? But thankfully, here at DMI Industries, we've got your back with our big mushroom. No worries, everybody. And I saw that little cave, but we'll explore that next time. I actually wanted to end the episode right here, but I hit forward too far. Anyway, we'll explore that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I'll see you later. Bye.